Mad World. I am Coach Sess, and you are listening to Words with the Mad Coach. Okay, so let's start off by quickly talking about where we are with this COVID-19 situation and what looks like uh, we may be resuming some normal activity over the next few weeks. I would not say that we're going to return to quote unquote normal, but you are going to see some activity pick up either because people are starting to get frustrated or some of the uh, governing bodies are starting to loosen up restrictions. So what does that mean? First thing I want you to understand is you're running a martial arts school and you haven't you know been closed down longer than say two months depending on how you ran your business prior to that you should be okay if you were putting money back into the business you probably have money you know to pick up almost where you left off put things back into marketing get people back into the gyms renew a lot of your contracts and things of that nature so you should be okay what is going to be the unknown is the health aspect so if your business, your martial art business dealt more with contact with people, uh, there's a, there's an on and off element to every martial art. If you spent more time in direct contact with your students or they spent more contact with one another, because that's the way the techniques are delivered and they come out with the format saying, you can't do that, you're gonna have to make some adjustments. That's, that's the bottom line. And it still can be done because that uh, contact could be limited to the amount of people, in the gym at one time could be uh, limited in terms of protective equipment. It could be limited in terms of the amount of time you spend doing it. That's normal, that's okay. In fact, I would say that's something you as the gym owner, you as the martial responsible martial arts person, you should have already been thinking about it anyway. You just gotta figure out how to do that. And the reason I'm confident that you're gonna be okay is because in the mixed martial arts community, not from a health perspective, but definitely from a business perspective, we've seen these upticks up and down for you know the last 20 years. So at one point in the 1990s and the early 2000s, we saw MMA threatened by its existence because we weren't regulated. The UFC was um, dipping and diving, hiding, doing shows that weren't sanctioned necessarily, quote unquote sanctioned. The rule structure was changing from one event to another. Different states allowed different things. It was when we got organized that you saw that um, MMA became sustainable and it became something that people could put a lot of backing into, you know, like sponsorships and things of that nature. But the nature of MMA is all about doing it as an event. Whereas what, what you guys do the organization and the structure is at the gym level, and that is where you survive. That's where you're lucky. It's all about, you know, um, the the techniques. Uh, it's all about the training regimen. It's about the history and the culture. It's about the lineage, the getting belted, getting promoted. So your structure is your strongest aspect. Because um, if I look at jujitsu, jujitsu survived a long time, at least here in my state, a long time without a lot of events. So events aren't the biggest thing that makes jujitsu work. And so I, I think if you take that concept and carry it over to most martial arts in general, uh, you're, you don't have a platform that, that works on the outside for you that you really need. You've survived for so long without it, people don't recognize you for it. But on the other hand, with MMA, that's what they recognize us for. With that being said, that's that's the difference, is that most of you martial arts schools, as long as they lessen the restrictions, you guys get back into the gym, you're gonna be okay because your work is being done at the gym level, and that's where you put all your attention to. Uh, whereas with MMA, it's all about the event itself. So if they limit, let's say they say 10 people at a time, it's going to be hard to sustain you know, your business model with 10 people buying tickets. The overhead cost that's gonna cost you to just put on an event, you know, where guys are fighting empty arenas and we don't have the backing locally, uh, you know, to do what uh, uh, UFC does to have fights in an empty arena because they still have the major corporations, the TV sponsorships and the things of that nature. They can put on an event on TV with no crowd and still be okay. All you martial arts schools, Boxing, kickboxing, jujitsu, um, you're going to be fine. Self defense stuff, you're going to be fine. Competition people, whew. well, we're going to have to think about it. Um, if your model, your martial art totally depends on competition aspect, we're going to have to figure something out for ourselves.